Hey everyone, hope that you're doing fantastic. This is the New Moon Reading. Uh, this is Shannon with Apex Tarot, A Pure Spirit. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop in here right now and get this done. Because it's a little bit early, but my video has been taking a while to upload. So we can go ahead and just tap in to see what the Spirit wants us to know about the New Moon here. The Sun and the Moon right now is in Libra. So it's about balancing out skills. Balancing the emotions, things coming to the light, uh, your gut instinct, cycles of things, children, all that kind of stuff. It's very karmic right now. And um, it's about truth more than anything, y'all. It's so important. So I don't know about you, but I've really uh, had a lot of emotion today. I, I, I normally do at the moon and of course it's not a full moon but I felt it I still feel the stuff with the moon for whatever reason why <laughs> and uh, I really had a moment earlier <laughs> it was not very pretty but it is what it is and here we are right so let's just go ahead and just get in here and see what the divine wants us to know in this reading I'm going to do a full spread I'm using the black cat's tarot for this reading Thank you, sweet divine, for the viewer who has clicked up on this video. I bind and block all negative forces that I command the truth to come to the surface. Anything hidden that's been deceptively spoken about or hidden, what is happening here in these right now moments for the viewer? What do we need to know? What are we allowed to know? What do we need to understand for this new moon in Libra where the sun is also at? Well, we got something wanting to... There's a tower right here. And I've seen that about the past right there. And fussing and fighting. And the home situation here. I'm going to just take that for the overall energy. I've seen that tower in three of the element readings today that I did for the next 72 hour uh, readings for your element signs. If you have your... It's for moon signs. So those will be down below if you did not uh, catch them. And... Um, Interesting, because I, yeah, I've seen that tower three times in three of those element readings. So people get in tower moments, and uh, I got another card coming out, and I'll just keep that for the. It's a new start. It's the truth. That's the Ace of Swords coming out. So we have the tower, the Six of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Swords coming out. Truth about the past, pride coming down, fussing and fighting, um, healing though here, there's a change here, when you get the tower there's definitely a change, right, but there's also a celebration going on here, there's two people coming out of that tower, there's one person standing there, this looks a lot like the, um, full card, but in this deck it is the Ace of Swords, somebody speaking and jumping off of that cliff there, somebody in nostalgia about the past, right, somebody returning, a lot of fussing and fighting about home stuff here. Really sucks. <laughs> Sorry, but it's just, this kind of energy is just. Uh, there's truth though, and there's also three swords. Even though this is five, oh, actually that's six of swords. Being able to leave the mind. Well, when the tower comes down, you have to face the truth. Whatever that tower was, or is, or fixing to be for whoever and whatever reason why it's there. For who, whoever, right? Brand new start, though. There's the Ace of uh, Pentacles as well. Well, when the tower comes down, you have to rebuild. Nothing you and I can do about it. It's truth setting you free. Some people had people in the past that you'd been fussing and fighting with, and um, I'm gonna get a card here. And uh, that tower now coming down because this is pride. There's nothing but freaking pride here. You know, my way, the highway is my way, my way, my way. No, I'm going to fight until I get whatever. And truth come down every time and knock a tower down so that celebration can come. 
and whatever the situation was in the past. Let's go ahead and see what's in our now moment. There's celebration. You got two cards celebrating right here, right now, right? And that's beautiful. Um, soulmates, friendship, unity, connection. That's really, really nice. Getting balanced. That is seven right here that I'm holding up at the moment, and that is uh, justice scales, right? That's seventh house. That's where the sun and the moon are right now. Something very emotional, very passionate. Where people have been in their mind and fussing and fighting or couldn't get out of the past about things. Or just or or for some of you there's just been nothing but reminiscing and just you know, constantly uh, trying to figure something out about the past. And now truth is here. And scales are balanced. Like I said, the six of swords, that is the scales, right? It's coming in, in a different way, but the but fussing and fighting and getting balanced scales here and generosity and sharing and, and healing and stuff like that from the past, something came down to allow truth to come and balance some kind of scales. And now they're celebrate two cards celebration here. That's beautiful. Yes, brand new beginning. The will went one way for those who want to stay this way. And it went in the correct uh, way for those who are in integrity. That's how the will and justice works. Now, the will of fortune has justice within it, right? It's spirituality. It's the higher learning. It's karmic. Just like the scales are very karmic. This is protection. This is increase, abundance, and inevitable fate. And that's exactly what justice is as well. This is truth. This is about truth. This is about foreign things that happen. Uh, and if you're inside that and you're bound up, you're just going to be running in circles. So half the people went one way and maybe the other half went the other way. Or whoever was fighting or how many ever was not standing in their integrity, it went in the other direction. What was in the past? The Nine of Pentacles. But the Nine of Pentacles here had some kind of sharks around him but in the in the past somebody was successfully self-sufficient had good investments going on but something's happened because somebody brought, made somebody fight for something these two cards right here about the past and fighting are 11 and that is justice here right but there was some type of fighting and uh cause some something here to somebody to be self-sufficient because if you if you were with somebody in in a home situation it, which it indicates that here at one time that somebody was fussing with you from the past you couldn't get out of your head or they couldn't and truth came whatever this was uh, what you know whether you were single and then went into something and then all it was was fussing and fighting something's happened where there's celebration there's a new beginning here what just happened temperance we got two uh, Jupiter energy cards here the truth they both represent the truth and we've got the truth here and we've got the truth here this you know this is all the truth this truth setting you free right coming out of the tower you can't deny it pride comes down there's a restart this is heavens taking control and doing it sudden changes about something in the past Again, the truth, cutting away things, having clarity, right, expressing something, thoughts, speaking, news about something here, maybe even something brutal that has happened. Obviously, there's been fighting here. And now there's two, balancing out the scale, it's got balancing. This is about the law, also, with the sun and the moon there in Libra. It's about justice in the higher realms, right, the spiritual, this is higher arcana, travel, uh, management, finding some kind of meaning. Something happened in the in the will turn. It's crossing. This celebration, this gossip, this truth, this balancing the scales, it, the karmic will is inevitably going to turn because we know what it is because the tower come down. What's helpful is that it, tur it turned. What's uh, challenging is that it turned <laughs> for some people one way and for some the other way. What's at the top here? Resting after a heartbreak. 
thinking about past things. We know that because this is here. And whatever the fighting has been, somebody got cut up, right? But it's a four. There's two fours here. Somebody's moving house. Maybe that's what the fight has been about. Somebody left, obviously. Somebody at one time was single and, you know, carefree and comfortable lifestyle and had their inheritances and goals attained and all that kind of stuff. But something happened where there was a family dynamic. Maybe you still are single, whatever, but you, whatever this is, soulmates, something from the past is now being healed after a stressful time, relaxation now, retreat. Also, this represents solitude. Look, the person's, you know, hurting. They're, I don't know if you can see the face there, but it, it's kind of frustrated, but got his hands crossed. But that is about, 22 is a four, right? Uh, which is also the 11, 11 is also a four which is knowing something and the justice skills right here and it is swords here but there's celebration even though you went through something somebody's resting now somebody's balanced something definitely being balanced sharks have gone away right because this is relaxing as well showing a picture of it in the root and at the in the crown chakra even if some people don't like it because we know the scale went both ways um, in the immediate future well there's that scythe that we talked about yesterday and there's another four because 13 makes four and that's the eighth house and that's two sets of fours that's transformation and that's straight out of heaven just like the tower and if people won't quit uh, a death comes the, the will turn something got literally bound there's a four here as well Right? And two sets of four. Like I said, the tower is also a 17, which make it eight. Two sets of four. That's amazing. That's emperor-like energy. Because he is the fourth higher arcana. And we've talked about the, hit, the death card being connected to the emperor by number vibration. And so there's somebody's got set free and is fixing to get set free in the very immediate future. What is about to happen. There's the moon right there's a big transformation coming here and we see somebody that's walked away from a situation it's inevitable because they got knocked out of a tower caused all this stuff caused celebration caused arrest here caused balance it caused you know if, if this is uh because this is also um reconciliation somebody reconciled here there's celebration now. Even with foreign things, because like we've talked about this part before, uh, the cat would eat a bird, the cat would eat a mouse, and they're all sitting there celebrating. The fish is on the table. <laughs> the fish age, right? Uh, the things that want to reel you in or whatever. Uh, now, you know, they're going fishing differently. The, the, the birds went and got it, put it on the table. Somebody got bruised up here. Some people got delivered from confusion because truth will cut it away every time. And something in the immediate future is uh, literally is fixing to be a death of some kind. Destined and fated something again. Again. Because if somebody is sitting here pouting and didn't like with the tower and rebuilds it again, immediately a death is now going to come. That's dangerous. But that's what prideful people do. And they just like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And you cause the truthful people have to stand up. This is what justice is. Where the sun and the moon, things that are coming to the light from the moon, right? And the moon's being portrayed here. What is the uh, concerns is work. Working on something. So if this is a reconciliation and somebody's hurt and still pouting about it and can't get over it, and the, here's a transformation because we know for some people it transformed negatively, and for some people it's going to transform just like that in a very positive sense. And what is so working on it is a concern, rebuilding, being sweet, right? 
topping that cake with the whatever <laughs> whatever you put on your cakes also an eight that that's Scorpio energy Scorpio's here something coming up to the surface something that's been hidden how's everybody seeing this heartbreak third party situations somebody walking out of the picture there as well and we've got the four swords well because we know that the tower just came down and somebody got hurt in the tower they're bound up here they're trying to heal because of this and this is how people see it heartbreak there's a seven justice clarity favor even through this why do I say that because there's a there's a flower there and even in the rain the flowers growing it's amazing because it's raining right now as I'm uh, recording this as well being gossip we've got two threes here as well in the right now position what's the hopes messages another two sets of fours which is an eight again but this is Cupid's arrows some kind of fast moving change again communication excitement speed That's amazing all these eights are coming out here and all these fours. Somebody's moving. And it also appears to be moving out of this tower. Being set free. Now this is technology as well. What's the outcome? Collaboration and rebuilding something and, build, and working on something here. Another three. We've got three threes here, which is a nine, which is the ninth house here and the ninth house here, if we're going to look at it that way, it, you know, with the three threes. That's also the Empress energy, and that's something being collaborated, and some people are going to rebuild something and build it wrong. And that's why this death is coming in the near future. And this is the outcome. So there's going to be something completely transformed. Both positive and negative for whoever is not standing in the integrity. And, and for those who are. And we did have the somebody moving forward to start something brand new. With that ace of pentacles there I want to take one more on that three of pentacles what's being collaborated don't build it the way you did before because everything else is toppled over every time they've tried that's why the, some people are so the moon itself is coming out and somebody looking up at the moon in the face of the moon and dreaming and needing to use the intuition or will be using the intuition which again the moon makes 18 so we find the 8 there in the 1 and the 9 a new beginning uh, roman this romantic card look at that but if some people are going to go back around the same way and build incorrectly they're going to get everything going to be toppled down again right you can't do it that way but somebody's very much in love here. It has emotions. Because there is celebrating here. We got celebrating and fighting. We got both sides here because two people are coming out. Both sides are coming out of the tower. Some people are having beautiful sex and some people are writing letters and wanting to communicate and open up about how they feel and are going to be able to do that. And somebody's been waiting for that temperance. This is the two of cups in the heavenly realms. Somebody's dreaming. Dreaming in the morning, dreaming at night. I'm dreaming of kissing and holding you tight. Sorry, that, that song is a song I wrote, and uh, that's coming through my spirit at the moment. Somebody dreaming, looking up into the moon, 
King of Cups, right? Very lovely look. He's uh, writing a letter, opening up. Normally, the King of Cups holds back. And for some people, I guess you'll hold back. But some people are going to express their emotion here after a big battle has been going on. Even after three-party situations, whether it was another lover for some people or just a family member because we've got soulmates here. The truth, the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth is out. <laughs> Amazing. Your celebration. Well, somebody's concerned about how to work on something and being sweet and kind and gentle and, you know developing something it's about developing something it's being very skillful in your craft all you can do is uh do it one moment at a time look even though people are seeing it as some people are looking at things as having to have to have have having to have had to go through a tower moment they're also seeing a flower grow in the night even even when it's raining because the tower has to come down that's from heaven hermit going within right I'm just curious what the next card is somebody's in their mind about facing truth but you've got to face the truth we, the truth is here the truth sets us free man truth sets us free whatever the past was whatever this is it will set you free the six cups about healing Look, this cat's healing, right? This cat is relaxing and healing, right? Healing and alchemizing two cups together that are supposed to be together. They're supposed to. Regardless who likes it and who don't. Regardless who this other person or cat was that had to walk out of the way, there's the, the creator makes something grow right even in the night itself and heal a situation. Send the message. Send that passionate message. Move forward quickly. Travel to the person. Why would you wait? Write the letter. You know you've been thinking about it. Get out of your mind. Right? <laughs> Make the decision. And then there's a message right here. Send the message. Those Cupid's arrow. I'm not gonna. If I keep doing this, I'll keep going and going and going, and we'll see what the whole story is. But some things we just have to go by faith, right? But this is this Cupid's arrow is being sent in a little love cup here. Surprises, attachments. This is somebody's really been in their head about it. <laughs> but look what they're doing. They're in love and looking and dreaming at the moon. And if a family member got in your business or some outside party got in your business or it was safe for you to love but somebody else got jealous or it made some kind of big deal out of something and, and whatever's happened at this point and it's safe for you to love someone and it's straight out of heaven because it's the truth here make the decision to be happy come together with this person and be illuminated build something correctly you know you're dreaming about it whoever I'm talking to they're in love because the king of cups is here King of Cups here, and, and somebody's dreaming all the time. This is what's coming out for the new moon reading. It's time to stop worrying in the mind, even if it's just yourself going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because this person is in the mind. This person's in the mind. The hermit goes within. Is a disguise, right? This is also a disguise. Been working on something behind the scenes, but dreaming about romance. Look at that cat. These are love messages. Libra is about mutuality, right? This is about celebration.
face the truth. All I can say is face the truth. Be sweet, be kind, and build something that's going to taste beautiful to you. Stop lying to yourself. <laughs> there's, look at this. And then there's the star. The star comes out, which is eight. It's 17, which makes an eight, right? Heal whatever the mask has been. Heal it. Face the truth. It's all over the place. Just heal it. Whatever it is. For whoever I'm talking to. At least somebody out there can love. Do it. Shalom, y'all.